All right, guys. Um, I bought a scissors look. As you see, I got my Mustang on here now. Um, I had it on, but did a did a little down review here, a running it down review, and the damn recording didn't go. As it happens when you're using super cheap cameras, so if the sound is crappy, you know why. Here, I'll run it up. truck I got this thing I turned the timer up so that it runs up a little longer when it goes down because that's so heavy that when you try and lift try and go down it won't go up far enough before it will release the locks so when I do something lighter like this sometimes it'll deadhead the pump for a second but uh, it seems all right um, yeah otherwise uh, I really like this thing I tell you what it has saved me from crawling underneath this car a billion freaking times. I love it. I mean, they could be, honestly, in my opinion, they could almost be a little narrower where you just can drive over them. But, yeah, that might make them a little less stable. Then you'd have just a little bit more access on the sides. But I've only found one occurrence where I needed a little more access on the side. And uh, that's pretty rare. So one other thing I did is I built myself a a little bit of a raised um, creeper here. Just threw my creeper on there and it falls right into place. And I can crawl underneath or roll underneath there in and out in, a, in like two seconds and not have to kill yourself crawling off the ground every time. So I like it. Um, made by Otto Kato. Uh, can't even remember where that guy bought it from. I bought it off eBay. And uh, it took a while for the 110 version to come back in stock. Once it came back in stock, I purchased it. And it came here very quickly. I think I got it within a week. Packaging was, well, questionable. But something this heavy, it's like 1,400 pounds. It's probably going to be a little questionable. You know, they didn't. They packaged it well, but the materials are pretty. Uh, pretty light for what that was. A little heavier uh, pallet underneath would have been nice, but oh well. It got here. No damage whatsoever. And the one thing I did, I did have one problem with this though. Now, mind you, when I put my Explorer up on there, it's just sitting over there. It's only like a little uh, 06 Explorer, so it's not super heavy or nothing like that. I got some damage on here. Uh, I, what I did is I only ran it into the first tooth, or maybe the second, I forget what it was. And when I did that, I ran it back onto the lock. Well, when you do that, these arms are such on a severe outward angle. There's a lot of force pulling them apart. What it literally did was bowed this over, and then it, it bent this right here. You can see this is actually the bearing box here is bent, and you got a little bit of a gap down here. So my plan is to add some extra bracing in here later on. Uh, I've been using it. I was going to do it right away, but you know what? Uh, there's so much downward force. I don't think there's really much outward force on this as long as I don't set it in those perches when, or those uh, locks when it's at a severe downward angle. I just don't even put, the, put it set it down. I just set it down only when it's up this high and all the force is pushing downward on that plate. So... For now, it's fine. Waiting for some warmer weather and I'll do some welding. I had a lot of other stuff to do. So, otherwise, guys, this thing, I like it. For a garage, I wish I would have built this garage 
another foot and a half taller, and I would have had a regular lift. But we just built this garage. <laughs> and yeah, money's money. It only goes so far. There, see, she deadheaded a little bit. But it'll run right down, no problem. Back on Earth. So, yeah. Hope you like it, guys. Good luck if you buy one. I like.